after some relative normalcy in the beautiful island of Beckway. <laughs> Speaking of COVID. Yeah. Huh, there's an outbreak here, of course. It's time for a little off-grid living. Drive us to an island. Uh, how about the one we're gonna go crash into? Oh! That one! That one? That one. That one. Yeah. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So me on that well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we're roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. And I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. Having been in Beckway for a little over a week, we had started to feel right at home and get into the group with this wonderful island. Well, Happy New Year! You know, we know that happened a little ways ago, but that's what's happening in our world, at least a couple days ago. Happy New Year! Too. Happy New Year! Yeah, we're having a good New Year already. Beckway is awesome. And right now we are childless, as we are often these days, because we have a lot of good friend boats that just randomly come pick them up to play with their children. They might already be at the beach, which is really our final destination. The beach. Let's go. Beach. Zeke wants to go. Yep, he's out. Zeke's ready. Zeke out. <laughs> so are you guys pranking me? After a little over a year of cruising full-time in foreign countries, we were starting to feel the full benefits of this crazy life that we had chosen. And on this tiny little island in the Caribbean, we began to see what cruising might have been like pre-COVID. With virtually no cases here, and confident that everyone we came in contact had at least two negative PCR tests under their belt, we felt confident enough to resume a somewhat normal life. With happy hours every night, kids running wild and free up and down the beach, swimming from boats and playing with anyone and everyone, it was like a little slice of normalcy in everything that we had been looking for. Of course, it's not all normal. This is the Caribbean after all. But 
Good things can't last forever. This is 2021 after all. What's up folks? We are here in beautiful Beckway. It is really beautiful too. Yeah. If we sound tired, it's because we're tired. We all got a little bit of a cold for a couple days, which ran us down some. It was not the COVID. It was just a little bit of a cold. But we're all better now. Speaking of COVID. Yeah. <laughs> There's an outbreak here, of course. Yeah. Basically, as soon as we got here, kind of started the week of like Christmas some more cases started popping up and then they just had kind of an outbreak recently yeah. it's like 60 some cases or something it was like 150 is it really but okay. a lot of them are local without when the people haven't traveled so they're not actually sure like where it started or how far it's reaching right now right so we're gonna try and get a little more off grid than we yeah right now we know there's a couple of cases that are supposed to be in Beckway and then a, a bunch in st. Vincent I'm sure but they're not it's not real clear where they all are a bunch of our friend boats have already headed down to the Tobago Keys and we were staying here just to get some work done so we're gonna head that way we're gonna go stock up on some groceries and then sort of get off grid yeah just Go lay low. Tobago Keys are beautiful. Uh, tons of little islands. Awesome snorkeling. Really scenic. So we're gonna go hang out there for a while. Stay away from people for a week or two. Do a self quarantine and see what happens in the next week or two, and then reevaluate depending on what's going on here. Yeah. Maybe move on to the next place. As long as we're still what? able to get anywhere. Yeah. What? So we're gonna go stock up and hit the high seas. You ready to sail? Yeah, but it's not that far. No, it's not that far. Okay. Dog food, I think. Oh, and butter. That's what I said. Butter. Groceries, pick up dog. What's up, Zeke? You're next, buddy. We are up. Up and out. Yeah. So we're getting started a little later than we planned. So I think we're just gonna cruise around the corner here to Petite Nevis. And that'll get a little bit of distance. It's not very far stop for the night, be able to get up early tomorrow and go all the way down to Union Island. Nice little following swell behind us. Oh, 
Drive us to an island. Uh, how about the one we're gonna go crash into? Oh! That one! That one? That one. Yeah. down to if a kid wasn't here. Napping. Silence. Okay, go go check this anchor before we get rained on. It is coming. Really? Where it first was, it was like upside down and snagged on a rock. Yeah. And started to dive down to see if I could lift it up. As soon as I, I tried once, and though I looked down, it had it had already gotten off the rock. So that's why I told you to back down on it. And it, it set in, but it's like a layer of seagrass over top of sand with a bunch of rocks scattered in it. So it's just not like... Good. Digging in completely. I mean, only at 2,000 did it move, and then it only moved like a couple feet. But still. I think I would say we put on an anchor alarm and just roll with it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but we just need to make sure we're paying attention to it. That's uh, all. Yeah, as long as we're going out to yeah. see, it's fine. I just don't want to like. Obviously, when the wind picks up, it pushes us that way. Yeah. So, yeah, it drags us out into it. Right. No, no lee shores and we're fine. Yeah, it's just, it's just not great. But I think we just keep an eye on it. I wouldn't want to sit here for a week or anything. Cool. All right, well this calls for a destination drink, I guess. Yeah. And since we buy tonic by the case now. Definitely gin time. Like everybody else was all excited about getting cases of beer. We're like, no, tonic, please. Give me the, all the tonic. You're gonna get me eating? <laughs> That's what we're doing now. We're just having kind of a nice night. <laughs> and we're in this really amazing deserted anchorage at Petite Nevis. Waiting for the pterodactyls to come get us. Oh, no, it's so Jurassic Park over here. And we're, believe it or not, we're playing chess. <laughs> We are not like chess experts in any way. We we watched the Queen's Gambit <laughs> on Netflix, but we've always had this little portable chess board, and it's got magnetic pieces, so it's like kind of good for being on the boat. They don't like you know fall off. And Rivers recently, you know, has been digging it out and wanting to play, even though he didn't know what it was. So we started playing. I'm just saying among like my friends, if they were to say, I've been playing a lot of chess lately, I'd be like, okay. But then we're playing chess. There's a reason it's been around for thousands of years. It's like the perfect game. Yeah, it kind of is. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just gonna enjoy this 
kind of cloudy, dreary sunset in this really Jurassic looking area. And drink another gin and tonic and play another round of chess. Have some dinner. Go to sleep. By ourselves. Pee off the back without worrying about it. He was totally fine, actually, <laughs> until we made him take cold medicine, and then he yacked all over the cockpit. Yeah. Then you felt a lot better, didn't you? Yeah. That actually kind of was the turning point. So the cold medicine worked. The cold medicine worked. <laughs>